Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining. My name is Max Fleischer, and I'm part of the online sales team here at Salesforce. Today, I'm going to talk about the top three reasons to use Salesforce Checkout. First and foremost, let me say thank you. Thank you for coming, and thank you for being customers. I appreciate your time, and I want to make this a good use of your time. Today's goal is to introduce you to Salesforce Checkout, our online portal for account management available on demand anytime you need it. Here's what we'll cover today. I'm going to explain how to navigate and find Salesforce Checkout. Then I'll guide you through the top three use cases, which are getting information about your contract, making payments and retrieving records, and adding additional licenses when your business grows. At each step, we'll cover how you can get in touch with us. At the beginning and end of this video, you'll find the email address where you can send any and all questions that you have about Checkout. There are two easy ways to get to Salesforce Checkout. First, you can enter store.salesforce.com into your browser and log in with your Salesforce credentials. If you encounter an error, it's likely because of a missing permission. Your admin will need to add the manage billing permission to your profile or permission set. For more details, see the knowledge article at sfdc.co slash buy online. The second method I'll demonstrate here. From our Salesforce homepage, which I'm sure you're all very familiar with, we click the setup gear and then manage subscription. Conveniently, we won't have to log in again. Welcome to Salesforce Checkout. Let's orient ourselves to the homepage. We will return here as we cover some of the key capabilities of Checkout. Each tab at the top of the page takes you to a list of your account's records and details, including your contracts, invoices, statements, and quotes. We will cover how to navigate your information later in this video. In the middle of the page, we have buttons for you to quickly add a few more licenses or add on related products like sandboxes or support. We'll talk through adding a license later on. In the lower left, checkout shows either your last paid invoice or any past due invoices. In the lower middle, we see license counts for each Salesforce product on your current contract. In the lower right, is our help and support center. If you need any help with products, contracts, billing, or check out technical issues, use the contact us button to log a support case. Now that we've made our way to Salesforce checkout and familiarized ourselves with the homepage, let's take a look at three of the most common situations that you might use checkout for. You joined our Ohana as a sales cloud customer in 2019. You think it was around May, but can't remember if Jill from Sourcing signed a one, two, or three-year contract. Your business, Antique Freaks, has been taking off, and you want to plan your Salesforce budget for the year. You need to know the contract renewal date and how many licenses you have. Let's take a look at how Salesforce Checkout can answer all of those questions. From the homepage, we'll navigate to Contracts, and then we'll click on our active contract number. In this contract detail page, you can see your start and end dates. From this page, you can check your primary billing contact and contact information. You can also get help by logging a case with billing. Let's click over to the Purchase Products tab to see what Salesforce products are on your current contract. Here we can see all your licenses, add-ons, and any other products you've purchased from Salesforce, along with their quantities and end dates. Clicking into the order record numbers shows the unit price and renewal status. If you need help with a renewal or a product, you can log a case in the upper right. It's the end of the quarter at Antique Freaks, and you're working with accounting to understand your Salesforce transactions for the year. You know from looking at your contract information that your annual payment is due. Let's make that payment and retrieve any other info for your expense report on Salesforce Checkout. From the home page, we'll click on the Invoices tab. We could also click directly into the past due invoice in the lower left corner. On this page, any invoices due will show a balance due and a pay invoice link. If we click on the invoice, you'll see all the products included, the total due, and the due date. To pay this invoice now, simply click Pay Now and enter a credit card. You will be emailed a receipt. If you need any help with an invoice or payment, log a case in the upper right corner. 
For a full list of all invoices and payments for the year, click the Statements tab. iPods and Palm Pilots are flying off the shelves, and Antique Freaks is ready to grow. You've just hired a new sourcing rep to search high and low for the classic devices of the 2000s. Your new hire needs Sales Cloud license to convert leads, track all their activities, and view progress against their goals. Salesforce Checkout has made this process super easy. Let's check it out. From the Checkout homepage, we simply select the Add More Licenses button. Here we can add any number of additional licenses for your core Salesforce products. If you'd like to see other products available, like API calls, data storage, sandboxes, and Premier support, click the Show All Available Products link here. Please note that the total bill to you today will be the price up to the renewal date seen here. After we enter a license count to add, we click Add to Cart. Creating the cart may take a few minutes, and we appreciate your patience. If you typically pay for Salesforce with a credit card, you'll enter your credit card details and confirm billing contact information. If you use DocuSign, you'll be presented with an agreement to open and sign. Once you submit, your shiny new Salesforce licenses will be added to your account within about 30 minutes. Now that we've covered the top three reasons to use Checkout, let's answer a few frequently asked questions. Who am I contacting when I get help on Checkout? So we'll route your case to the appropriate sales and support teams. How can you talk to somebody about your products or new products you might be interested in? You can either click Contact Us from the Checkout homepage, or you can call or email your account contact with the contact information provided. Are there products that can't be added on Checkout? Yes, there are some categories of products that are not currently available on Checkout. Reach out to your account contact or click the Contact Us button for, any assi for assistance. How do I get the Manage Billing permission? What do I talk to my admin about? So your admin will need to add this permission to your profile or permission set. See the knowledge article at sfdc.co slash buy online. Let's recap. The top reasons to use Salesforce Checkout are one, to get information about your contract, like renewal dates, two, pay invoices, and access statements, invoices, payment records, and other financial information. Third, as your business grows, add licenses and other add-on Salesforce products. Thank you very much. If you have any questions about checkout, please email us at checkoutonlinesales at salesforce.com.